uh, myself Tinu again. Uh, we have one more demo on the RPA Oracle Integration Cloud solutions. And uh, this demo is about a event registration and uh, reaching out to the uh, uh, customers via WhatsApp notification using the RPA robots. So let me quickly tell why we had to use a RPA. So, you know, with WhatsApp, there is a challenge uh, since it's been specifically used for human to human conversations. Uh, WhatsApp never exposes any API and they do not support any bots in them, uh, unlike some of the other chat engines. And then we could use the web U you know, UI or the uh, desktop URL, uh, but we cannot send messages to random numbers or random contacts until they are there in your contact list. So this is what uh, was the challenge with using WhatsApp. And the solution is simple about integrating it with the RPA robot. We could actually do this. So let me quickly get into what is this demo all about. So this demo is all about a customer who registers on a uh, social portal. Uh, let's say over here I'm using Eventbrite. So I have an event which a customer might log in and register. And once these uh, customer registers, uh, we use uh, Oracle's SSI platform in order to take his details over into the integration cloud. So. If you see the second step, SSI acts as a bridge between the Eventbrite and the OIC platform. OIC is nothing but the Oracle Integration Cloud. So this is an easy to configure recipe from SSI between a, uh, Eventbrite and OIC. And once that has happened, it pulls, let's say, over a five minutes or a 15 minutes time period. And whatever is the new records or the new customers who have registered, uh, we push their details onto our OIC platforms where we try to check with the other systems if it is a known customer. We try to add more information to his data. We populate his numbers. And once this is done, uh, we are through with his payment channels. Uh, we try to reach out to him over his WhatsApp in this scenario. So the fourth step is about reaching to this customer on the WhatsApp. So again, a quick look in the technology involved over here. We have the Eventbrite, we have the Oracle uh, self-service integration or the SSI. We have the OIC platform and we are using the process cloud service in it. Uh, we have it wired to a UiPath robot and the robot actually uh, invokes the WhatsApp and you are re ready with your solution. So let's see this. Uh, so let's see the solution in action now. I'll take you directly to the solution part. Okay, so I have over here an uh, event which I have registered on Eventbrite. So if you see uh, some details about the event, the location and the other steps in it. And um, we might be reaching out on the social platforms to the various customers and the customers who are interested can log in and book a ticket or a slot for them. So in the checkout process over here, I'm just going to give in a little more information. Just keeping in my old details in it. I'm just completing this registration part so that the ticket is emailed to my email ID. So that's it about creating a Eventbrite. And I do have a ticket with some ticket details in it. So right now Eventbrite holds all the details of this particular customer. Now the next challenge is so now the next challenge is to have this uh, detail of this particular customer to be imported into our Oracle cloud. So for that, I'm going to use this uh, self-service integration or also called the SSI. 
So I'm just going to log in. So this is the SSI dashboard. If you see over here, there's a lot, a lot of recipes that you could use out of the box. It's all about just configuring the details and you're pretty much good to go. Um, so you have your Dropbox with, you have your Eloqua, you have your run, you have your Citrix, you have your Gmail, you have pretty much all the major apps these days. We have a easy to plug in recipes. So coming back to the recipe that I have used for this demo, I have used an Eventbrite to an Oracle integration cloud or an Oracle process cloud recipe. And since the trigger is every 15 minutes, I will just invoke it right away. So once the SSI triggers it, we would, uh, since I've configured it to my mail, I would be receiving a mail something similar to this. Okay, so I'm just taking one of the records. Okay, let's see it for this particular user. And this should ideally, according to my flow, the SSI would be transferring it on to my process cloud service. So let's open the process cloud service now. So once in my OIC platform, I go into tiles where I can see my process cloud services. And yeah, there's a record of this particular user. So I'm just opening up the form. Since this is a demo, I'm just going to be keying in the mobile number myself. But yeah, you could connect it to, to any other backend system and fetch it up from there if this record or this employee works. I'll just add a little more intuitive information in the WhatsApp. So I've just done some editing and I'm just going to reach out to this guy. So I submit over here, which should ideally, according to my flow, should now pass over, invoke my robot, which does the... So I'm just going to give him a model number. Yep, that's processed successfully. Now let's just wait out for my. Yep, my robot is getting to starting up. So it's creating a profile for this user. Everything is done by the robot. So once that profile has been created, now we need to be opening up the WhatsApp, keying in the number and hopefully sending the message. Okay, the robot is opening up my WhatsApp. Yep, it's opening up the user, it is typing the message and it is sending the message to this user. Yep, I have received this message onto my mobile. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I've been able to send this message via WhatsApp using the robot up to a particular mobile number that you want to send, which is even not in my contact list. So this is one of the solutions that has been made using the uh, behind technologies. I hope you guys enjoyed it.